Hello everybody, this is Vertical Sandwich, and welcome back to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot Twin Sanity. We are three gems into high sea hijinks. And, uh, the best is yet to come. I don't know. Okay. So, onward. Oh, seriously? There's a way to start a video. Alright, round and round we go. Yay. Let's not get killed by a rat this time. All right. Okay. Spin to avoid the rats. Are there more than one? Probably. Nope, just one. Okay. All right. This thing is going to be a nightmare, people. All right. There's a there's a gem in here. And uh I know we have to, uh, we have to get to a bunch of platforms and hit a bunch of plungers and stuff to unlock it, so, uh, I've never done this, I've gone, I, I went right through this rope, I didn't even bother the last time I played through this to see what these things did, so, let's, uh, let's give it a shot. I... I think that there's a plunger on the right, too. So... Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. Alright. Okay, so that gives us our jumping crates. I mean, these are not... Uh, the, this stuff, these pistons or whatever, these are not hard to, to stay on. I don't know. These aren't pistons. These are, uh... Oh, I don't know, like a drive rod or something. Oh my god, we made it! Okay, awesome. Wait, another plunger? Well, bullshit. Alright, we gotta get back down and over there, I guess. Okay. Ugh. The camera's not giving us a lot of cooperation here. I don't know how I want to do this. Ugh. Jeez, come on! Apparently the camera doesn't want to do the things we want it to do. Oh, we can't make it that way. Oh, we certainly can't do that. All right. Well, you know what? I think we can make it. Oh, where did we fall? Like, there's such a small space in there. We must have just barely. Whatever. We'll wait for the. We'll wait for the drive shaft this time, or whatever it is. Uh, I wish it saved that we had hit the plungers. That would, that would be nice. There are not a lot of things in this game that I dread, but this is definitely one of them. Everything else in this level, as far as like gems go and stuff, shouldn't be too hard. I mean, we've already got three of them, so. But again, where I don't have to, where I don't have to redo levels, I would rather not. Like, although when we go back to redo levels, there are some levels that we're going to have to, like, we're going to have to redo Cavern Chaos, and to do that, we're going to have to replay Jungle Bungle to get to it. But that's fine, because... What? What? Anyway, uh, re replay... What? Wait, what? Uh, replay Jungle Bungle. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, but that's fine, because Jungle Bungle is really easy, and we'll actually probably pick up live doing that, so I'm not worried about that. Alright, there's one. This is a four-step jam, I think. So, we know there's three plungers, so it's at, le it's, it's at least four steps. Hopefully that third plunger doesn't unlock two more plungers or something, but I think, it, I think there's only three. I don't know, again, it's, it, it's hard. It's hard making the jump to, like from uh, a written walkthrough to your actual play. Unless you have a really great walkthrough writer, you know? But, like... Uh, the one I'm using is alright. It was the only one I could find that had gem locations. So. Actually, if you do searches for walkthroughs of this game, the one you'll find the most often is incomplete. Ah! It actually uh, doesn't go, I, I think, even this far. But it's on like it's on these crazy reliable game sites 
like game facts and stuff and like you go and like look up the walkthrough and you're like it stops it stops at like level seven come on oh my god i don't know how many of these deaths i can take we've lost like 10 lives in this room probably not 10 we've probably lost more like seven but i mean still a lot for a gem So yeah, this game specifically seems very hard as far as Crash Bandicoot, ga Bandicoot games, and I actually talked to some of my subs about doing this, about doing this walkthrough, because people requested it so much after the uh, Wrath of Cortex walkthrough, or Let's Play, that, um, but people said, they were like, it's a really hard game. Uh, I've played through it now, and I have no idea uh, what we're going to do. There are two levels in the end that are going to be bad. They're just going to be bad. But other than that, I mean, I think we've got a good handle on it. I can't imagine that I'm going to get... Okay, okay, all we got to do is not die. Oh, th thank you. But anyway, there are two levels in the end um, that are going to be rough. But, I mean, we've made it through rough stuff so far, so... I mean, we did a really good job in Slip Slide Ice Capade or whatever, and... Yeah, at this point, I could die, and I'd be alright with that. Oh, well, there you go. Vertical Sandwich, predicting the future. Alright. Vertical Sandwich, predicting the future since 2028. Uh, anyway. Um... We, uh... So, yeah, I'm not really worried about it. I think we're going to make it to 100% one way or the other. Um, at this point. So. Because I know, from my initial playthrough, like, the levels that follow this one, I got most of the gems out of those without using the walkthrough. They're just kind of naturally... Um... Findable, I guess. So, anyway, so we're done with this room. Hooray! Oh my god, wouldn't it have been a bitch to get killed by that rat? Ugh, a checkpoint. Thank you. Alright. When I first came into this room, I actually uh, spent a bunch of time trying to hit rats into the, the Nitro crate. Before I actually investigated and was like, oh, there's just TNT crates that you can hit to blow these things up. You don't need to. I mean, there's no reason for it, except to, you know, get rid of them. I mean, there's a lot of those, those, uh, uh, those fortified cases, those steel and wood cases, they have a lot of Wumpa fruit in them, so, oh, the extra life is much needed after the fiasco in the last one. Okay. We're doing good. I shouldn't say that. It's just absolute total asking for it. Alright. I don't see a good reason to mess with that, so we're just gonna leave it alone. I just heard somebody in the back go shiver me timbers. Hilarious. Hilarious. That would be an interesting thing to look up the origin of. Shiver me timbers. I'm pretty sure we can make it across that, but... Okay, so somewhere out here... Uh, we should have a gem, I think. It should be... The fifth gem should be in here. I don't see it, but maybe it's around those nitros in the middle. There's... I see a plunder. So, uh... Let's go check that out. We're going to find it. Again, I, I don't want to redo this level if I can help it. Because this level is a pain in the ass. Like, it's been a pain in the ass ever since we started it. Alright, well there's the luckiest rats in the world. They didn't get hit by the nitro and stuff. Okay, well we got Uka Uka for that, but like, we didn't... We didn't get a gem. I don't, uh... Oh, there it is. Okay, good. All right, we got it. Fantastic. 
Alright, that's five people. And I know where the last one is, and it's oh, it's gonna be... It's gonna be really obvious and unavoidable and stuff. And I, uh... I wanna see what's down here. Again, I know it's not the last gem. Because I know where that is. Just some burners, I guess, and some... Some crates. I'm not, uh, I'm not so worried about that. I mean, even if they are extra guys and stuff. So I guess we gotta get back over here now. Yeah, that looks like the way out. Yay, way out! Alright, what's next, what's next? All right, we got our power crystal, and, uh, oh! Oh, this is a boss fight! Okay, cool! Well, we'll finish this up. This will be a good place to stop, actually. So, uh, we'll take care of this. All you gotta do with this guy is run around in a circle. He will shoot rockets at you. Um, I don't know how many times, I think twice. No, it's three times? Okay. Uh, and then just stand by one of these pillars, because you'll throw a TNT crate. Like so. And then just, uh, there you go. And you've just got to do that to, uh, knock down the three supports of his platform. Pretty cut and dry once you figure it out. And you have plenty of time to get yourself in position, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Haha, -ha, you're a fool! Alright. See, if he didn't throw those TNT crates and all he did was shot the missiles, he could kill us, because eventually, like, we'd make a mistake. But nope. He has to be all TNT crate-y. That is so not a phrase. Alright. Okay, everybody. That should do it. Uh, thanks for watching. You guys take care. Bye, everybody.